Good afternoon. As some of you may know, I have this hero wall at work where I place pictures of historical figures in American history whom I admire. One person I have considered putting on that wall is Big Bill Haywood, the labor leader, one of the founders of the Industrial Workers of the World, IWW. And now that I've joined the IWW, it becomes a very relevant question. I hesitate to put him on the wall. There are a couple of things to consider. One is if you look at most of his life. If you look at most of his life, I would conclude he is indeed a hero. He went to jail for the cause, just like many of the other people I put on the wall, such as Eugene Debs, Henry David Thoreau, Alice Paul, and the like. He made sacrifices for organized labor. He fought the good fight. Unfortunately, as I discovered while reading the book, Roughneck, which is the autobiography of, I'm sorry, it's a biography about him, I found out that he didn't end so well. According to that book and other sources as well, during one of his last labor battles, he was going to be on trial. And when he was on trial, they gave him bail. One of his co-activists put up the bail for him. So the co-activists spent all this money for him and then he jumped bail and went to the Soviet Union. Some people considered him a traitor to labor for that. So what do we think about Big Bill Haywood? It's tough. I want to admire him. I think up until the end he lived a very noble life. But can we forgive that and conclude he's a hero? That is the question we need to answer and we need to ask. What do we think about him? Is he a traitor like Benedict Arnold? Some might say yes. And in fact, I've read that some people thought he was a traitor. Benedict Arnold did serve his cause for a while, but then he betrayed it. So what do we think? How do we evaluate Big Bill Haywood? Should I include him on my hero wall? Is he like Debs and John Brown, Ellis Paul, and Margaret Sanger? Or should I not? That's a tough question.